Turn our attention now to China and one very high-end automaker looking to capitalize on Detroit's labor dysfunction, especially when it comes to the EV market. First stop, though, Europe and the Middle East. Our Yunus Yun joins me now from a li live from a Zeker showroom in Beijing. Yunus, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Well, traditional car giants in the West are about to face another competitor. Ezekiel's CEO told me in an exclusive that his EV company is about to crawl into the international ring. Andy On has big dreams for his small auto brand. Next year will be an important year for Zeker and our international push, he says. Zeker is a premium EV unit of Chinese car group Geely. It's filed for a New York IPO. Its crossover SUV, the X, is a rival to Tesla's Model Y. In China, it starts at $26,000. It features automatic doors. <laughs> Folding back seats for extra cargo space, a passenger seat that turns into a bed, and a trunk that doubles as a picnic table. But Zeker is just one of countless EV brands fighting it out in an economy in a slump. Zeker sold 40,000 cars in the first half of this year. Tesla, 12 times as many here. That's why Zeker and others are looking overseas for business, especially in Europe, where Zeker just shipped its first cars last month. We're confident we can start in the most challenging market with Europe's fierce competition and high standards, he says. And Europe is becoming more challenging. Just last week, the EU announced an investigation into subsidization of Chinese EVs. And analysts are already worried about countervailing measures. Uh, the co company Zeker, though, um, on, did not comment, though, on those plans. Frank? This EV war, it's really heating up. So... There's already several U.S. listed Chinese EV makers for U.S. investors to consider. How does Zeker differentiate its product from all those other names? Well, Zeker's CEO uh, told me that um, his argument is that unlike those other Chinese EVs, Zeker has access to its parent company's uh, production as well as logistics networks. And also, and that company is very, very established. In addition to that, his, the sister brand, Volvo, has a lot of technological and safety know-how. So uh, they're able to have what he's described as a light asset model, which means that they could spend more time on their cars and their designs. Uh, J.D. Power has actually said that uh, the customer uh, satisfaction of, of Zeker is quite high in China. Uh, but that said, uh, Frank, very early days in a highly, highly competitive market. Yes, very early days. Absolutely. Eunice, great reporting as always. Our Eunice Yoon live in Beijing. Thank you again as always.